Peace, everyone. Welcome to the Triple Sevens podcast. Today, you got the brother Nigel Boston here. And also, I got my big bro, Nate L. Boston here. I want to check the temperature in the room. Big bro, how you feeling? How you living? All is one, all is well. You know what it is. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, today's podcast, man, I'm not, I'm not even going to lie to you. I've been waiting to get the knowledge and the history about a very special topic that we're going to discuss today. And today we're going to discuss the importance and what is the mud flood. So today I, I got my pen and paper here. I'm ready to take notes because I, I want you to break this down for not only me, but everyone who's listening about the mud flood and, and the importance of it. So go ahead and give us the, the knowledge and the history of that. All I can say is, because I'm still doing the knowledge and the history myself, and this is actually all hands effort. Uh, what's going on is that history has been a lot. For lack of better words, we have been misled as a society, as a nation, as a culture, you know, as a human race. Uh, basically, uh, this comes to my attention that archaeology and artifacts, remember everybody grew up on Indiana Jones. So, you know what I mean? That movie basically taught a generation about why it was important to, you know what I'm saying, deal with artifacts and archaeology, right? right? You had like Indiana Jones, the Temple of Doom, that was the first one, Raiders of the Lost Ark, right? You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know what I mean? Uh, the, the Crystal Skulls. All these movies are deep. Go back and watch these movies because it dealt with one theme in particular. And all throughout all the movies, it always dealt with mysticism and it also dealt with the Nazis. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and Indiana Jones was a good guy. You know what I'm saying? American, you know? And he was out there, you know what I mean? Doing things to preserve history. You know, the story untold of all, all history. So more or less, we've forgotten our history and we're being told what our history is. And now they're doing it again. They're revamping our history. So when we talk about what it is, the mud flood, people go out there and uh, just do a Google search, everybody on this topic, mud flood. You know what I mean? Right. And what it encompasses. The mud flood, basically what it is, is uh, it states that in around 1800s, 1812, you had uh, some uh, earthquakes that occurred. And with those earthquakes, also it uh, had tidal waves and floods that happened all around the planet. You know, our earth, you know what I'm saying, it goes through natural disasters. Natural disasters because earth is alive. It cleanses itself. You know what I'm saying? The frequencies, it's a, it's a live being. We are children of nature. And so we're children of the earth. So you know what I mean? One thing that we've forgotten because we live in a civilized society of cities and things like that, we think that we're not beholden to nature, but that's not true, right? So my hypothesis on everything is that we had higher civilizations in the past and everything goes up. Then you got the laws, these metaphysical laws, the laws of rhythm, you know what I'm saying? The law of correspondence, these are all laws that are principles. What goes up must come down, you know what I'm saying? So civilizations are built and they go down. There's an episode of Futurama, you know what I'm saying, that you need to watch. The first episode of Futurama, it shows, it's deep. Um, if you ever see the uh, main character named Fry, he gets locked in the cryogenic, you know what I mean, cell in 1999. And what happens is, you know what I'm saying, it's like a New Year's, whatever, for the year 2000. And right. as he's locked in there, you'll see like in the background in New York City, you see like, you know what I'm saying, it's going through stages where they get to a high civilization, crazy. Aliens come and they burn it all down. Then they start from the Stone Age again. They build castles back up. Aliens come and they burn it all down. Then they come back all the way up. Aliens come, they burn it all down, and they come all the way up, and it's the year 3000. It's kind of crazy, man. So, right. like, Matt Gronin, anybody knows the Futurama was created out of uh, The Simpsons. This is oh, a spinoff yeah. of The Simpsons. This is Matt Gronin, basically, is the same creator. And you know, he always, you know what I'm saying, he's a high level degree, you know what I'm saying, traveler. You know what I'm right. saying? Master Mason, you feel me? So he basically puts all that stuff in his, you know, everything from Trump becoming president when he was, you know what I'm saying? Right. To, right. You know what I'm saying? 9-11 uh, occurring back in the day. I mean, all of these things were already pre-predicted, pre-predicted program. How did he know? Well, we got time right. machines out there. Some say we do got time machines that Nikola Tesla was working on this technology back in 19, you know, 1940s because they had, you know what I'm saying, in our American history, everybody go check out the Philadelphia experiment. This really did happen. You know what I'm saying? Einstein, Tesla, you know what I'm saying? And many other uh, Oppenheimer uh, scientists that created the nuclear bomb and all the above. 
they were opening, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, space uh, portals in time space continuum, you know what I mean? And they were doing this based off of things that they found in the artifacts within Egypt, within mm. Kemet. Because in Kemet, you had the scrolls that give you all this information. We had a great library. It was called the Library of Alexander. But the story never told is the story of the Moors in North America and all around the whole planet, that we mm -hmm. had one whole empire. You know what I'm saying? Right. One empire that had many different kingdoms. And my hypothesis is that empire, right, the last great empire of it all was an empire known as Mali Sangai Ghana. You know what I'm saying? It was ran by a man named Mansa Musa. You know what I'm saying? He was the emperor. He was the richest man known to date on the whole planet. Right. He, wherever he went, he made other people rich. You know what I mean? And then that made a lot of people angry. And that's why we had to date the Inquisition that, you know what I'm saying, took down the more. But all of this had to play in a part of the natural disasters happening in nature. So I believe that we had a high civilization, one of a utopia that was peaceful. You know, you hear the stories of the legends of Atlantis. Right. I don't think, you know, they, when they, they give us all these times and dates and things, I don't believe those times and dates are accurate. They'll even tell you carbon dating of fossils and things are not 100 percent. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think what it is, is they have these resets that occur every 100, 200 years. And when they reset it, they, a large portion of the population dies. And the, the, the children that, are, you know, that come from that, they re-educate them, they miseducate them and give them a false education, but artifacts and stone never die. Archaeology never dies. You can still go to certain places around and you can see that you had artifacts and archaeology that was built off of stone and preserved over through time that still to this day become stronger. And the buildings always have an arc and pillars. They're always arcs and pillars. Mm -hmm. Arcs and pillars. Why is that, that always there? Because right. It was a, a, a civilization that dealt with higher mathematics of ge ge sacred geometry. Right. And that was the Morris Masons that were masters of a craft. That was a negative. What happened now, I think what happened is they were operatives. They were actually doing things, you know what I'm saying, with their higher minds. Right. They were, they were doing things based on, you know what I'm saying, actually understanding how to uh, manipulate the energies of the earth because all these artifacts and these different monuments and buildings are all on ley lines. Ley lines are energy centers of the earth. So pyramids, uh, temples, uh, mounds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even like even in America, you have so many different artifacts. Why is it that in every state capital, every state capital building is just like the one in DC? Every state capital. Mm -hmm. And then here's another, yeah, every state capital building in every uh, uh, capital in America, it's all shaped in the same form of a dome. And you have like the building. Just look at it. Go and do the research on it. Do the map on it. Every state capital look like the one in DC. Why is that? Because you're dealing with, you know what I'm saying, ancient artifacts and architecture that some will say, oh, it was a Roman and all that. No, 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 no. I think that was a fake too. Because even that in Rome, the same architecture is found in, you know, similar in Japan, in Africa, in, uh, you know what I'm saying, Asia, all different parts of the world. You know what I'm saying? You have this same formulated architects and there's already researchers out there that are doing their thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's one that um, I like to go to this uh, website called piercingtheveil.net. Everybody that keep that out. You know what I'm saying? Deep. And the lady that, that, that broke it down, she basically breaks it down and, and gives you this information and shows you the artifacts and shows you that we have forts or star forts all around. These star, star forts fort. look like tour turtles. It's something that was crazy from Baltimore where I live at. Baltimore has so many you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 buildings and stones. And you got to remember, most of these cities always said that, like Detroit, uh, Baltimore, Newark, New York, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Down south, you know what I'm saying? Tulsa, Oklahoma, we had Black Wall Street, multimillionaires in the early 1900s and 1920s, you know what I'm saying? But they were all terrorized by the Ku Klux Klan, who were the poor whites. They never talk about that. They never. We never got reparations for that. We never got, you know what I'm saying? It's always been a terrorism type of thing on us knowing our true history and when we claim who we are everyone else gets mad and it shouldn't be that way we should it's, it's like they're forcing us to you know say conform to something that we're not because we're not you know what i'm saying gangsters and we're not hoes you know what i'm saying that's not who we naturally are we're compassionate people so you know what i'm saying our natural way of being is based off of love you know what i'm saying that's why we use that word more more means love means compassion more you know what i'm saying a more you have people in the Polynesian Islands right now from Hawaii all the way down to New Zealand, 
you know what I'm saying, to Australia, they're also known as the Maori tribe, the Polynesians. You know what I'm saying? Easter Island. Oh, the Australians have another group of people known as the Aborigines. And they talk about a time when you had what they call the dream time. You know what I'm saying? The dream time before, you know, the cat catastrophes happened. You know what I'm saying? Before things occurred that, you know what I'm saying, were just out of whack. Right. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Our history has been lied to. Even Michael Jackson tried to tell us before he passed. Yep. When he, uh, he said we've been lied to and we've been treated wrong. And that's what's going on. It's, it's like a, a, a move to try to erase who and what we are and not claim who and what we are. And then when we do claim who and what we are, you know what I'm saying? Everyone has a problem with it. You know why? Because genetic memory don't lie. You know what I'm saying? Genetic memory don't lie. Epigenetics is real. So with the month that happened, it happened around 1812 or 1800s. Right. You know what I'm saying? And at that time, you'll see that in history that's rewritten, you have certain great wars. Why is it every time you have a catastrophe, you always have wars? World War One, World War Two, World War Three. But they won't talk about. They'll talk about World War One. You had the Spanish flu. You know what I'm saying? You had a major flu that yeah. killed most of the world's population. The same thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Every time you got a war, it's like the people that run this planet or used to run this planet, because they're losing the power and control. That's how I feel. Their whole game has always been is they have to use distractions to not make us see what nature is doing, to not look at nature. They don't have control and power over nature. They just have a, a, an awareness of the signs because they use cosmology. They use astrology and cosmology. They look at the signs of the heavens and then they dictate what's going on. And what they can, you know, what I'm saying do to us, they could put fear in us. They make us fearful, and they make us fearful of actually learning the true knowledge. Because when you go into school, all you're going to learn is how to be a good worker, so you can get a job. Right. Look in the Bible, Job. Job. That was, a, you know, what I'm saying that was something negative. That was when the devil tempted Job to see if, you know, what I mean he was going to be faithful to the Most High. And we right back at it right now. We at the at a place where they're using economic warfare on all the population. You know what I'm saying? And, and in all reality, we don't need the economy. We just need to work together as one. And right. see, that's what people have forgotten. When we say all is one, all is well, it's all based on us getting back to that unified mind of just caring for each other's purpose and right, divine right to live. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Everybody has that divine right to live. And in that time of the month blood that occurred, I believe that was a judgment. You know, and it tells you about it in the Bible. This is how, how fly it is. How they do it is they put it right in our face. Remember, things are better hidden in plain sight. So they right. put it in the Bible and they tell you the story is the, the story of the flood, Noah. <laughs> and they tell you, right? <laughs> right? So they tell you, but how you know it was all the way back then? You don't know the time and day, you feel me? They even tell you a, a day for God, a thousand years for God, for us is a day, one day for God. Like, so time itself is relative. It's relative to your own thoughts. Right. You feel me? So like, when you want to do something you really like, time goes by fast. But if you're doing something you really don't like, time will buy salt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So time is relative. And the only reason why we're using time today to measure, we measure in the sun and the revolver of the so-called earth around the sun, right? But here's the here's the thing that's ill, right? Uh, back in the day, ancients didn't do that. Ancients used to actually use, you know what I'm saying, the sun based on the sun going around on um, the earth. It's kind of crazy. They had what's called sundials. Sundials, they, right. They, they, they said that the Earth was stationary and, and all the planets and everything went around the Earth. That's kind of crazy. Go and go research this stuff. And then the thing that's about it is, in those ancient times where we would say a high civilization that still exists, right? When you look at the art, you look at arcs, all these different, like, okay, look at uh, the the, uh, the Eiffel Tower. You know what I'm saying? Look, France, Europe. Europe has some of the, you know, all these buildings and, and they all look at churches. All around every major city from Philadelphia to Detroit to Baltimore to New York, they got these gothic. They call it a goth. That ain't gothic. That was these, these were buildings and edifices that were created to generate power, electromagnetic natural power, natural electromagnetic power. That's what we had. And you would call them now Tesla towers, because that's what Nikola Tesla, he knew this knowledge. Right. Nikola Tesla knew this knowledge because he came from a place called Belarus, Hungary. And anything anybody that knows Hungary or, you know what I'm saying, was a part of, it's part of Europe. And most when they ran in Europe, they had a, a, a royal bloodline. The reason why they named Europe, Europe was named after a Moorish princess known as Europa. Everybody can look that up. You know what I'm saying? Even Scotland had a um, Scotia. You know what I'm saying? That was a, that was a Moorish princess as well. You know what I'm saying? The Scotians, you know what I'm saying? Nova Scotia. I even like the little people, like the Twa, the Pygmies, like this stuff is deep. They, they hide their history because what it is, is migration of people, you know what I'm saying? When people pass away, they it's just like with, with, with our music, you know what I'm saying? 
One minute, you know what I'm saying, we had rock and roll and blues and jazz. You know what I'm saying? But now you can't, everybody's taking a part of it. And now, you know what I mean? It's lost the, the essence of the culture itself. Now they're doing it with hip hop. Right. Now you got rap. Now everybody's enjoying it, but are the people that originated it and the culture that originated don't take the credit for it. Mm -hmm. So we have to be the ones to tell our story and we have to tell our story the way we need to tell it. And we need to stop the divisiveness of all the different conscious movements that are all out here. Mm. It's just bringing more confusion. Right. You know what I'm saying? The confusion right. of, you know what I'm saying, more or less, uh, we looking at things at a divisive, to what they tell us. You're from, uh, you know what I'm saying, Haiti. You're from Jamaica. You're from Africa. You're from, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 Russia. You know, but there's black people all over this planet, man. There's black people in Asia that ain't never been to Africa. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Right. You know, the Indians in India, you know what I'm saying? They all migrated. It was a migration. You got Asian people that are in Africa that never left Africa, but they're Asian. The Khoisan people in South Africa. They mm -hmm. just be Asian, you know what I'm saying? You just look at their Asian features. In, in, in Africa, it's a melting pot. It has all the different races of man all in, in that whole motherland. That's why they call it the motherland. Motherland, right. You know what I'm saying? It has, a, it has, it has, it's a melting pot. It's not just one form of people. You got the Bantu, you know what I'm saying? You got the Watusi. It's a genetic mainframe. And you saw that those in the past, in the past, they put it all on the walls. It's still there in Kemet today. It's in stone, even with the martial arts. The Montu right. fight is it's in stone. That's right. one thing that they do to us. They don't want us to travel this world. Even with our present day, what's going on currently, mm. it's been making it hard for us to even travel to go places because right. they know people are waking up. They know people are waking up to the divinity within. And when people start traveling, they won't believe in the propaganda on the lies on the news anymore. You know what I'm saying? They won't believe in that stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? They'll start looking within. They'll start looking at themselves at a higher nature. You know what I'm saying? So. The mud flood occurred based off of these wars. You had War 1812, they called it the Second American Revolution War, the Spanish-American War. Right. You know what I'm saying? Very big war, uh, war they teach us about in uh, school, that war. Mm -hmm. And like, you know what I'm saying? But that, I think that was all a cover-up. <laughs> mm. You know what I mean? They, had, they had be doing cover-ups. You know what I'm saying? Like, they cover up stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't remember certain things that happened in history, they can, they can write it out. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? What, what about the um, pertaining to the mud flood, uh, there being like buildings underneath or like, um, you know, like the White House might have like buildings or um, something like underneath, like underground and stuff. Like, did it wipe off like certain things, but there's certain art, uh, artifacts and certain. Um, yeah, tunnels. You tunnels. got tunnels everywhere. You got aqueducts. It's, I already said the ark. Everything is always that same uh, uh, architecture. Why? Because that's the flow of energy. The flow of etheric energy is spiral. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's spiral. So, it, you know, it, it, the, the, the things were always done in the arc. Look, you got St. Louis. They got, what do they call it? Yeah. The, the arc, right? Right in St. Louis, right? The arch, right? right. Well, McDonald's put it right in your face. Mm. The golden what? Arches, oh, right. right? You have also what? Like, you know what I'm saying? In New York and Central Park, or not, not, not Central Park, but downtown New York, you got that arc, that same arc, you know, right. that's found in France. You know what I'm saying? That's also, that arc is also in, in, in Sumeria, Mesopotamia. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is all over the planet. It's, it, it's, it's in, in our face. Break, break, break that down. They might not know what that Sumeria, Mesopotamia is. They might not know what that means. That was, Mesopotamia, Sumeria is where, they call it, you know what I'm saying, where, where, where civilization first started with, the, with trade. You know what I'm saying? You had trade uh, that basically, you know what I'm saying? You had a place, a city there named Babylon. But you had these other cities like Ur, Chaldea, Akkad, you know what I'm saying? The Akkadian, all of these people, the Persians, these people were the ones that controlled, you know what I mean, the trade of the so-called free world at one time. You know what I mean? The Babylonian type of system of control through trade and currency and dominance of, you know what I'm saying, contracts, law. They, they, they took natural law and then they broke down natural law and came up with a way to create slavery and bondage of us, the people. That's the Babylonian way of doing it. Remember the Hebrew Israelites got caught up in Babylon. You know what I'm saying? And that's when they started doing paganist worship of false gods, right. right? They started worshiping Baal, you know what I'm saying? And they started, you know what I'm saying? Worshiping false gods and things. And they started doing all this different mysticism. That's when they picked up the Kabbalah, you know what I'm saying? And the tree of uh, life and the tree of death and stuff like that. They started messing with these negative fallen angel and beings, right? Right. Because supposedly that's where, you know what I'm saying, these negative uh, the witchcraft and sorcery comes from. 
You know what I'm saying? In right. Sumerian Babylon. You know what I'm saying? And, and supposedly our current system, world system, that same priest, it was a priest class that was running it. They would they would take, they after like a civilization fell, Babylon fell, they would go to like Egypt, started all over again. They became known as Ptolemies with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Alexander the Great and all of that. You know right. what I'm saying? They had the Hyksos. They were known as the Hyksos too. You feel right. me? And then after that, after they destroyed Egypt or whatever, then what did they move on to? They moved on to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Canaan, the land of Canaan. Tyre, Phoenicia, you know what I'm saying? The Phoenicians, you know what I'm saying? They took all, because every time what they did, they always are parasites. They follow with us and they use us. They use our talent and our gift and they're doing it today. You know, right. so we don't know who we are, but we are, 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 are exploited for our gifts and our talents. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the only way is to remember have that genetic memory of honor, which is a samurai code. That's why martial arts is very important. Discipline mm -hmm. is very important because it teaches you honor honoring yourself and others and not to be used, not to let no one use you to know yourself, right? No, so this is what we had when we had in our ancient civilizations, we were warrior class, but we were warriors of protectors and defenders. We weren't barbarians. Remember, Sumerians were barbarians. That's the movie Conan the Destroyer, Conan the Barbarian. That's about them. That's not about us. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We weren't, we were barbarian. We didn't pillage. We weren't, you know, Mongols. You know what I'm saying? Look, remember, Genghis Khan and all them, that's them. That's the Mongols. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's who these Khazars are. That's who these people that, you know what I'm saying, uh, that, that still our identity. They follow us around this Sumeria times, and they still our identity all the time, and they claim that, that they're the chosen or whatever. But everyone knows and understands that, you know what I'm saying, we also have a covenant with the divine essence of what we call prime, God, right? right. And when we break that covenant by doing degenerate things, Bad things happen to us. We go into bondage. We go into slavery. That's why you hear and you talk to some Hebrew Israelites. They'll tell you Deuteronomy. You know what I'm saying? It was a 28, whatever. They'll always break that down. You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, yeah, we were going to be put back in the bondage because we didn't listen to the most high. We started doing things like the Jezebel spirit, what Jezebel did. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? It's that same type of, um, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Way of being, more or less. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be to where things have to be based on respect for ourselves first. Because we're not unified, how the rest of the world going to be unified? Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's what happens. Nature is going to rectify all situations. And that's what happened. We had a high civilization. I think it, it started off with, you know, these places of, of legend called Lemuria. Then that fell, Atlantis. Then that fell, right? Egypt, that fell. You know what I'm saying? Mesopotamia, all of those regions over there, that fell. Right. You feel me? Uh, Greece fell. Rome fell. You know what I mean? The, the, the kingdoms of, 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 of Africa, they all fell. Over here, the, 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 all the different native tribes of, of Moors, Seminoles, uh, Arawak, Taino, wow. you know what I'm saying? Algonquin, Cree, Blackfoot, all of these, you know what I'm saying? Yamasee, you know what I'm saying? Washita, you know what I'm saying? Their wow. unity fell. You know what I'm saying? They're still there. And that's the thing about it. They're still there and they won't get recognition from the mainstream society here, but you got the group of the oldest Morris ind indigenous people on North American lands known as the Washita Moles, mm, right? Very important, y'all. The Washita, W-A-S-H-I-T-A-W. They still exist to this day, right? They're natives of this land, right? You know what I'm saying? And, and people need to understand that. They need to learn about, you know, the Maroons, who our descendancy come from. You yep. feel me? The Maroons, you know what I'm saying, that defeated the British, the Gullahs, the Gullah, Gullah, Gullah Island, the Geechee yep. people of South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Go back, it was one empire. Right. You feel me? It was one empire, and they know that, and they make sure that they divide us with all of these, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they shipped us in the triangle trade. That triangle trade was called slavery, the, the Atlantic trade of slavery. Transatlantic, uh... The transatlantic, right? Yep, the transatlantic slave slave trade. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Where they got us all, they got us all confused. You know what I'm saying? Right. They got us all confused out here. They got us on the level where, you know what I'm saying? We don't have the ability to know ourselves. So we are following what they tell us. And then any leader that comes to unify us and get us to oneness, what they do? They hit them up. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't take accountability, but they want us to always take accountability. They always want to claim, oh, black on black crime. But wait a minute. When we do have a leader that wants to reform us and make us do better, what do you guys do? What do what do, what do these clandestine agencies do? 
They got Cointel Pro, counterintelligence program to make sure they shut us down. And they don't take account of it. They use propaganda in the media. And that's the sick part. You have really people that are on the media that are actually putting us back in bonds and putting themselves back in bonds just because they high price slaves. They think because they're getting a the check that's, that, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to lift up to their livelihood or they right. blackmail or whatever. They don't have integrity, man. And that's right. what's going on. And with us at the lower grassroots level, we have to keep our integrity. We're not perfect people, but guess what? If we want a better world, we have to know ourselves and we got to get along. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? We got to get along and have peace to where even if we don't want to deal with each other, we don't like each other, you don't like your fellow man, race, color, creed, or gender, don't disrespect them. I mean, respect them enough to work for the greater good of the future of tomorrow, which are the children. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. they're the ones that have the bright minds of imagination and genetic memory in order to raise this place back up to the higher place that we we, we deserve it to be. And that's where we at. We're in a war for the for, the, for them right now. For the future. You know? that's, a, that's, a, that's a great uh, transition to where I want to take this and kind of close it up as far as the future generations and what um, you know, you and I and other members, uh, our platforms as far as each one teach one enterprises and what that ent uh, entails and there's, you know, programs and services and stuff that, you know, we're building on, um, kind of go into that as far as uh, what the importance of the platform is and the other platforms and what, uh, how it's going to help the future generations, which is very key and vital. Okay, number one, um, we're going to do everything at a baseline level. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do everything in a fundamental level. It's not nothing. Yeah, one thing I learned about, you know, when you go through higher education, it confuse you. <laughs> like, when you go to college, man, it's all confusing. Like, you learn theory and all that. And then when you get to the, to the workforce, everything you learn don't mean nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All they're really teaching you is how to be a robot that's taking in all of this information that don't mean nothing. The true information is what you actually experience. Mm -hmm. So when you go to a job interview after you get out of college and you go and you try to, you know, say you put your resume in, you get your job interview and all of that, the very first thing they're going to ask you is, what do you know how to do? You know what I mean? Don't tell me what you learned in school. Don't tell me what they told you. What do you know how to do? What, do you, what did you do hands on with your hands? So that's what we got to get back in that mind frame is that we have talent in these digits in these hands right, right. and we are supposed to be technicians mm. i mean technical skills we got to understand not everybody you know what I'm saying you know we have too many chiefs and not enough indians say that again and, and we, say, say we, that again we got too many chiefs and not enough indians that's what happens to all organizations that we have everybody want to be a leader but don't know how to lead some people ain't meant for leading some people are meant to play their part you know what I mean? To be a technician, to put in work with your hands and to put in work. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to teach the basic fundamentals of how to get things done. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the cyber shooters program is just to teach the basic fundamentals of IT and cyber security because everyone needs to learn that. Everyone needs to understand these basic things, right? So cybernetics is the number one thing that we're going to harp on. What is cybernetics? It's the merging of man and machine. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Basically, that's what's happening now. We right. use, yo, yo, you won't go nowhere without your phone. So you basically, you know what I'm saying? Your phone is, is basically a part of you now. Right. You know what I mean? Until the next level where, you know, supposedly they, they want to inject that ability, right? Google glasses, uh, neural link chips in your brain. Remember, that's what Tesla, that's what Elon Musk is talking about, uh, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. All of these guys are dealing with, you know what I'm saying, quantum computers. You know what I'm saying? Quantum computing and all the above. They have so much technology. You got things called the Brain Initiative. Everyone go and go look this stuff up. Go uh, look up the Sentient World Simulation by MIT. Everybody go look at that. Look that stuff up, man. You got to know this stuff. You know what I mean? Because this stuff is affecting our lives, whether we want to or not. You know what I'm saying? They got so many exotic uh, type of technologies out there. And if we're not careful, like artificial intelligence, these things are going to take over who and what we are. They made the movie The Matrix. That didn't come out of nowhere. A black woman named Sophia Stewart is the one that, you know, say originated the concept. And right. it was stolen for her. And then the Wachowski brothers and others in Hollywood made the Terminator movies and they made the Matrix movies out of it. Right. And it's that real. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand that it's like we are headed to where we either have our divinity or we lose our divinity and become soulless beings. We don't even know, we don't, we'll be what they call alien grays. 
You see them alien graves with the big bug eyes? I think those are human beings in the future, in another parallel future, that lost their souls. You know what I'm saying? And they came back in time here in the 1940s and all of that, through Wild and all that, in order to like try and, you know what I mean, get, get humanity not to do that. Right. I work, and, and it's, things got insidious because you got positive and you got negative. You know what I'm saying? This stuff gets deep, man. And it's all unraveling right now in front of our eyes, whether we want to see it or not. We're literally seeing the Terminator take take effect. We're seeing artificial intelligence become so advanced. You know what I'm saying? That soon, it, it, they even, they got, artificial intelligence has its own language now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Literally, they, they put different artificial intelligence computers together and they were they were, they were talking. That, that scientists had to break, had to stop that because they were like, wow, they, they starting to create their own language and communicate. Wow. This is how deep it is, you know what I'm saying? And office, it's all around us now, Echo, Siri, you know what I'm saying? All of these different devices are always listening all the time, and they're always picking up everything we do, all of our thoughts. And then we have 5G, you know what I'm saying? We got to know about this technology, we, and we got to learn countermeasures on protecting our data, because we are data. Everything we do, our touch, you know what I'm saying, our hearing, our smell, our taste, all of that is information. All of that is recorded and measured. All of it. You wearing Fitbits? You wear Apple Watches? Right. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff is picking up constantly. Your heart rate is always recording you, and right. all of that's being recorded is being put and sent back into a database. Right. And that's that sentient world simulation, the brain initiative. They're creating another you that you didn't give authority to. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't consent. But actually, we all did consent. Here's a trick. You ever heard of an end user license agreement? Mm -hmm. you look, every time you 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 press, I agree to use this app. Right. And you you know nobody reads right. that. Right. When you update your phone and all that, yeah. All the time, it's always something new with it, and you agreeing to it. And unbeknownst to you, you're giving something away to get something in return for a privilege, mm -hmm. right? And that's the, the, the that's the part of the natural law that they created, what is called statutory law or fiction law, right? Color of law. Right, that's based on contract that you agree to the terms and condition that goes against natural law. So something becomes legal in contract, but that don't make it lawful in natural law. It's a trick, right? Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So we have to start reading and we gotta be our own lawyers. We gotta be our own doctors again. We gotta heal ourselves mentally and we gotta raise our divinity, but we also gotta know the current world we live in. The current world we live in is, is the key to focus on. We got to know about the technologies that are, that are changing our landscape and how to use them. Not to be dumb by saying, oh, we got the newest app and we got the newest, you know what I'm saying, tech, 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 whatever. But at the end of the day, you don't know how it works inside. <laughs> you feel me? You don't know the processes of how it was developed. Right. And that's what we're going to teach. We're going to teach the system development life cycle. You know what I'm saying? We're going to teach, you know what I'm saying, how to secure, you know what I'm saying, your network. How to secure your, your data, data protection. You know what I'm saying? Risk management. You know what I'm saying? These are things that we're going to get into people's brains at the lower level. When I'm talking about lower level, I'm talking about the children. Let's keep it real. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to teach them in a basic format, in a child format, that they can get this. They got to understand that computers speak in language. They speak in zeros and ones and binary, and it's all breaking down to hexadecimal. Then you get characters, you know what I'm saying? And the characters are strings. You know what I'm saying? The integers and numbers and all that, they create and formulate, you know what I'm saying? what we call, you know what I mean, computer code. And that code is called programming. And that programming is the same thing with us. We get programmed through our subconscious mind, through lights, through the pixel. Because when you're looking at the lights on the computer, those are just zeros and ones in pixel format that are going so fast, right? And, and that, 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 that pace of it going, you know what I'm saying? That also is called, you know what I'm saying, processing, data processing. You know what I'm saying? And we got to understand these, these things. And we got to... Hey, y'all, he just gave y'all a lot in that two minutes. He just said a lot, a lot. I, I hope they yes. I hope didn't go over their heads. And this is how it is. This is how, this is what we're bringing. We're going to take these, these, uh, these terms that they confuse you with. When you go to school, they confuse you. They make it seem like it's just so gobbledygook. Like you can't, you know, you got to really be a brainiac nerd to get it. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's just the magic part of it all. Right. You know what I'm saying? The magic part of it all is to confuse you, right? Because remember, this is you're living in the Wizard of Oz. Let's keep it 100. And the, and, and the wizard in the back, he got all the lights and all that. But when you go in the back, he's a little, little dude who weak. That's what's going on. 
right. know what I mean? We're dealing with people that are weak. And they know at the end of the day, these these, these people that are weak, the, the, the powers that were, that's what I call them. I don't call them powers that weak. I don't call them in lease. I call them powers that were because their time is up. You know what I'm saying? All the master teachers already broke it down that their time was up. You know what I mean? They're just holding on and trying to extend time by keeping us in fear. Do you feel me? Our fear is what keeps our ignorance and our fear is what's keep, keeping us down. Because when we wake up and realize that we, we got the power, all that stuff ends. You know what I'm saying? We got to be, all of us got to be Bruce Leroy's in The Last Dragon. We got to have that glow. It's time. You know what I'm saying? It's time to wake up. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's time to be strong, get out here, do the work. And it ain't hard. You know what I'm saying? Each one, teach one is going to teach you about the principles of metaphysics and how to relate to your natural world to advance your quality of life for all society, not just yourself, but for the people you care and love. Those you know and don't know, the seen and the unseen. That's what we're about. And let me tell you something else. Cyber shooters, the future is all about teaching everyone to take personal responsibility of their data, information, insurance, and security. Now, I mean, and not just that, it's going to even get into, you know what I'm saying, physical security as well, because it's all based on risk management. You know what I'm saying? You got to be strong enough to protect yourself, protect your data, and, you know what I'm saying, protect your stronghold for your loved ones. When I say stronghold, I'm talking about your fortress, your home. You got to know there's different technologies you can use out there. Like one of the technologies right now that we're going to teach about is called IoT, the Internet of Things. That all deals with, you know what I'm saying, Wi-Fi. You feel me? Everything's interconnected. Your refrigerator, your microwave, your coffee maker. Your garage door, your, your, your phone, your cell, cell phone, TV, all that is all it's connected in a, in one huge, you know what I'm saying, connection, and it can be hacked. You know what I'm saying? Somebody can can, can do that. If they, somebody can target you, they have systems out there that they can target you and make your life just, you know what I'm saying, not your life no more. You know what I'm saying? And it's that deep. And people can need to know that this stuff exists. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because you got corporations out there in the back, they, they're still in all our data. Our analytics, they call it analytics. They're taking all of it without our consent. You know what I mean? Then when they go to court, when they go to Congress, like 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 uh, Mark Zuckerberg was in Congress, you know what I'm saying? And and, and, and the congressman asked him, he said, Where what hotel did you uh sleep sleep at last night? And he told him, he said, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't want to tell you. He's like, Who are your friends that you talked to this morning? I don't want to tell you. He was like, Well, I mean, your company does that, it takes all that information from everybody else. But you don't want it, you don't want that to happen to you and your kids. So you see the hypocrisy? You see the hypocrisy of these people? Right. They're hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? It's come on, man. All is one, all is well. So what you do to one person, you're doing it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's up to us to enlighten and be aware of how others are being treated and they know their nature and protect ourselves because we have a right to self-preservation. We have a right to not give up our consent. You know what I mean? Free will is a gift of God that's given to all men, women, child, and living beings all on the planet Earth. Free will. When we start tampering people's free will, that's when we have to pay the price. That's called divine essence of karma. Karma. And that, that, that price that we pay is, is called dharma. And to tell you in the Bible, as a man reaps it, so shall he sow. You know what I'm saying? Or as a man sow it, so shall he reap. Either or, it's the same. It's the serpent biting his tail, the infinity sign. Remember, we're in an infinity war. They gave us the movie telling us we was in the Infinity <laughs> War, bro. Oh, you know what I mean? Really on that, I just want you to break down Thanos. As far as his concept of, you know, the snap, the reset. Is that what? That's exactly what it is. You broke it down. <laughs> you just broke it down. You just said it. The snap. Matter of fact, brother, I see the Duke of Tears. He, he does a wonderful job breaking it down. You know, he has an episode on YouTube, everybody called The Snap. And he talks about the hand of God. Everybody go peep it if you get a chance, man. It's deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll have it as a like video in our, um, you know what I'm saying, in our section. I'll put it you know in the section, y'all. Y'all check that definitely, out. Definitely, definitely. The snap. You got Thanos and the Kooji sweat look like Biggie. It's fly. <laughs> the way he broke it down was fly. Talking about the hand of God, about plasma, us being plasma beings. Right. You know what I'm saying? Through dark matter, dark energy, and everything is going, we, the frequency is changing, whether we know it or not. And that's what they're being afraid of. They want to try to trap our souls in this fake third dimensional realm. And it's not going to happen because we're going back to a higher essence and form of being that is less dense. That's more pure in thought. So they have to keep turning up fear. They got to keep, oh, shooters here, shooters there. They're using this technology on us that's messing with our lower animal instinct brain. So you see all these shootings and oh, everybody acting crazy? It's because they're being messed with psychologically by frequencies. Frequency weapons. This is real, man. 
You know what I'm saying? And they don't lie about it. They got the patents. That's the thing about people need to learn what patents are. If the technology has a patent, that means it exists. You know what I mean? Companies, these big corporate companies of what we call Silicon Valley, they they, they, they 10 to 50 years ahead of everybody else. They just, that's why they acting real smug right now with censorship, boss. Like, is that real? Because they, they feel like they got the game on lock, for better word. You know what I mean? Like a better word. They think they, but nah, they don't. Because you still have an anomaly. We call it the Neo in the Matrix. That's what each one teach one is. That's what know thyself. And we the Neos in the Matrix. Yeah. You feel me? Yep. I mean, our job is to, you know what I'm saying, stay awake. And we got to treat ourselves right. We got to be respectful for ourselves. It's an ongoing battle with our ego. We're not, we're not perfect, man. You know what I'm saying? We right. sometimes can, can get ahead of ourselves and thinking, you know what I'm saying, we bigger than what we are. But nah, the work is all that matters. From here on in, the work is the only thing that matters. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? If we're not doing the work, then shoot. We're destroying ourselves. We're wrecking creation. You feel me? Wreck creation. So you're either going to wreck creation or you're going to build creation. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to have to build, like, with me and you, we already know what we got to do. It is what it is. It was destined already. You know what I mean? In our brotherhood, we know. But we still got responsibilities in the false reality that we live in. We still got to pay bills. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody got to pay bills. Look what's happening right now with the um housing uh, renters. Right. That's affecting everybody. This COVID thing really did affect a lot of people. Livelihoods, man. People are, are, are being evicted. You know what I'm saying? It's really sad. You know what I'm saying? But this is the more, more or less, this is the time right now that people need each other. Absolutely. People can't be on that device. I don't care what color you are. You really do need to. If you grew up with somebody that cared about you and showed you love, that person is supposed to be important to you. Because all we got is us out here. Right. You know what I mean? We got, you got to understand, we're all one American right now. Right. On this planet. Everybody look up to America, the nation. Everybody, you got you got revolts that are happening in all different places, like France, Australia. You got people that you know what I'm saying. They in their lockdown, and right now we ain't in there. Only reason why we not in there because we have a spirit of unity. At the end of the day, we know what time it is. We serve. A lot of us serve for our country and our nation. Right. Don't get into it. We love our way of life. Our way of life is Pete. Look, we got our private property. You can have your opinion. You have your First Amendment right, and that's another thing we teach in the each one teach. We're going to teach about the Constitution. We're going to teach about the basic, fundamental, inalienable rights that we all have that are not given by man. They're given by God. God. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at, man. This is just a, a, a taste in the preview. And as we go, you know what I'm saying? And, and time is of the essence, too. So we're going to put, it's going to about to be some real content and substance about to be released in a minute. And we're going to go hard with it because we have a message. And the message is unity. All right? Bottom line. It is what it is. It ain't got nothing to do with trying to be like, oh, my ancient past and ancestors were better than yours, so I got to feel better. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, that's nah, that's nah. done. That's done. Nah, nah, nah. We were all lied to. All is one, all is well meant that everybody had pigmentation of melanin at one time. And the only reason why you're seeing the divisiveness of the different races and classes is because the environment and also the meddling. Me, personally, I'm going to get down with it. I think we've been meddled and messed with genetically, genetic tampering by other beings out there. And we're starting to see it, man. They're starting to slowly show us extraterrestrial ships all over the place. Right. Call UFO. The, the Navy got videos of them. You know what I'm saying? Now coming out. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? The different agencies is coming out disclosure. It's out there, y'all. You there. know, a lot of people are trying to say now nah, they're just trying to prepare for the fake alien invasion. That's on the Illuminati card game. Right. Everybody go pick up that game. The game is still there before they take that game off. It's on Amazon, the Illuminati card game. We'll even put it in the link. Because that game is deep. They got like the whole cards and everything show you some deep stuff. Right. You feel me? Like the stuff is predicted programming. Like, like, yo, we are now climaxing to an event that's going to occur. Me personally, through all the knowledge I've been doing, we call it the event horizon of the great, you know what I'm saying, solar flash. And everybody can look up that what that is too. Uh <clears throat> You got a guy, he's a researcher by the name of Dylan Monroe. You know what I'm saying? Dylan Monroe. And uh, he got like, you know what I'm saying? These beautiful like uh, uh, charts that he has and these different arts. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll even put the link there. And he goes into explaining, you know what I'm saying? All the different aspects of what we call the Great Awakening. You know what I mean? So we all a part of the Great Awakening because you're going to either go through a great reset, which you're going to forget everything, or you're going to be Great Awakening where you're going to remember everything. So the choice is yours. I'm going to end it there. <laughs> Peace. That's very important, Big Bro. Uh, everyone listening, also, uh, check out Big Bro's book. He just put, published a book, his first book, God's Gift. 
I'm you already know. know. Absolutely. There you go. Show it to them. Yes. I'll put the link in the description. Go ahead and cop that off of uh, Amazon. Also got the Kindle version. Very, very, very important book. What was uh, that? Yes, absolutely. I'll also drop the website, the Know Thyself website, and the Each One Teach One Enterprises uh, link also. I'll put all that in the description. Big bro, I really appreciate you breaking down the knowledge for this. The mud flood, I know the importance of it. You guys also Google the mud flood. You guys go and also do the work as well. Definitely. We'll put the piercing, the veil of illusion.net. We'll put that, you know what I'm saying, in the link as well too. So everybody can, you know what I'm saying, go read and go see the artifacts and go outside and look around. I'm serious. These different parks you see, the mounds in your city, mounds, why is it that you have in every city, almost, you have these long edifices known as monuments or tekkens. In our ancient time in Kemet, we call them tekkens. They also called them obelisks, right? Now, you would call them a monument, like the DC monument. You always have these long, in every downtown in every city. Just right. really won't be that. That's one of the, one of the, 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 the codes. Just right. go and look at your, your libraries, your, your, your churches. Definitely the church is always, you know, the stone, you know what I'm saying? It's all made out of all this, this intricate design, you know what I'm saying? All these, these, these different, why is it made like, you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that regular people made that? Nah, people with divine minds or architecture made that. Absolutely. They were on a higher level of mathematics called, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> we call it the science, right? <laughs> the proper right. centers call it the 120 degrees math. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mathematics, divine mathematics. You feel me? So math. math. Everything is math. You're, you're, you're a product of math. Your body is a product of math. Your arm, leg, leg, arm, head. You know what I'm saying? You're a product of math. How is it on, on, on each side you're equal? Well, I mean, right. some are equal and some are not. But to, you know what I mean? Look at the Da Vinci, the Da Vinci sign, right? Called the Vitruvian man. You know what I mean? The Leonardo da Vinci was a deep dude. Right. And he was a Rosicrucian. And the Rosicrucians learned everything they learned from Morse. And they had to become a secret society in France in the time of the Renaissance because they had to protect the secrets that the Moors taught them because the Inquisition was trying to wipe it all out. Wow. Yep. What we're going on today. We're still in the Inquisition. Right. You know what I mean? They're trying, to, they're trying to wipe out knowledge through censorship right now. So your free speech is at... It, Yo, everybody, wake up. Wake up and take control of your divinity. If you don't, you will be in peril. You won't even remember. You won't have the ability to remember who you are anymore. Right. Your memories are the last thing to go. You know what I'm saying? Right. Your memories are who, what makes you you. Because that's all you really got in this world. All your cries and your laughs. You know what I'm saying? Remember training day? Home yeah, warnings? Oh, yep, yep. Cries and your laughs, man. Absolutely. That's all you got. You know what I'm saying? Right. The memories of how you, you you made you happy or what made you sad? Right. Those memories, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got to keep that. And that's your soul. I'm, I'm feeling memories of your soul because of your experiences that are all collected. Right. And it kept with you. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't have no memory, you will a blank slate. Man, that means you lost your soul. You ever see, you know what I'm saying, people like in the industry or whatever that got that blank stare? Remember how Kanye, after he did that, that the thing on the stage that he came through, he like had that blank stare and all that? Yep. I'm telling you, it's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they be talking about these different technologies such as cloning and all that. That stuff is coming out now. They don't lie about it. You Like I said, go look at the, the, the patents, look at the research papers. You know, you got to be scientific with this stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? You really have to do the work. And the work is you have to study. You know, they gave us Google. We got Google. You know what I'm saying? But you use duck, duck, go to. You feel me? <laughs> there's many different, you know what I'm saying, uh, platforms to use. It's not just one. They don't got a hegemony on it. You know what I mean? They act like they do. But remember, the internet that we use is only 4% of the real internet. The other 96% is known as the dark web. Everybody got to learn about how to navigate the dark web. That's what cyber is going to also teach us. You know what I'm saying? We're going, what is the dark web in the first place? Why is it even called that? Mm -hmm. Aha. That's what we got to get down to. How to travel and traverse it. You feel me? Because guess what? There's people out there using it right now, and they they, they got money. They got cryptocurrency issued money right. on a high level. And now they're trying to control cryptocurrency. That's the next th thing they want to control. You know what I'm saying? Rest in power and peace to a man named John McAfee. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that created, you know what I'm saying, Symantec, you know what I'm saying, antivirus. You feel me? To protect your computer. Like, he knew some stuff. Right. Go we back and look at the... Yo, Go back and look at his interviews and listen. Everybody listen to his interviews of who he was. Go learn and research that man because that man was a good man. You know what I mean? And it's sad that it's always the good men that always take the L. Right. You know, and nobody's ever there to, you know what I'm saying, stand up for them. It's a book that I read back in college, man. It was called Animal Farm. Mm. Everybody go read that book, man, because that book breaks that down, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the same essence of it. So more or less, you know what I'm saying? You know, we just got to do our research and we just got to unite. If you got compassion in your heart and you just want to see a better day for tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Then you'll do the work and you'll pass on the knowledge because each one teach one, each one reach one. So each one teach one to know thyself is the movement and the principle. Absolutely. All is one and all is well. I appreciate you, big bro. I appreciate you more, brother. You know what I'm saying?